The bill creates a defined contribution plan or a 401k plan for all future employees at the state level and the school district level, except for state police who don't contribute to Social Security. And that would be mandatory for them. The employer would put 4% in, you know, equal to 4% of their salary, uh, and then they would have to put a minimum of 4% in, but they would have control over their investments, you know, picking it from a menu of investment types. And then for existing employees, if they choose to do so, they can freeze their defined benefit in place and move over to a defined contribution plan, and they'll receive annually 7%. So we're trying to create an incentive to get them to switch out. It would be their choice, and there are lots of reasons for that, but one of the main ones is that our courts have said that once a benefit is granted here in Pennsylvania to a public employee, it is very, very difficult to change it. I think over time it will have a downward effect, a positive effect on the pension deficit, but fundamentally what it's about is trying to, for all future taxpayers, make sure that our, um, our system is you, you contribute in one year, that's that year, you contribute in the next year, and you don't get a bill 30 years later because the state government didn't fund it properly. There are two reasons why we need to get a handle on it now. One, the more people that we add to the system, the more there is risk that the problem will grow, okay? And because we are literally shoveling cash into these systems, it is affecting every line item in the state budget, it is affecting every line item in the school district budget. The mistakes of the past are literally being visited on, visited on us right now.